Hello, it's me, Vicky Marie. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is for you, wherever you are. Thanks for being here with me in this moment. Okay, so, well, it's early in the morning here in Spain. It's uh, 20 minutes to 7 in the morning. I'm just having my first coffee of the day and coming round. I'm just it's a Monday morning when I'm recording this and of course every the, the news that is everywhere this morning which I decided I'm going to have a look at uh, with you and uh, we can think about it and maybe tonight we can talk about it again is this photo of Kate Middleton what's going on what is going on with Kate Middleton because, you know, Kate had um, an operation. You know, the palace announced that she was having an operation a couple of months ago. Uh, it was abdominal surgery. That's what they called it. Um, and of course, there was a lot of speculation about what kind of abdominal surgery. Was it plastic surgery of some kind? Was it hysterectomy? Was it? We just don't know. Then there was a lot of speculation that she, during this surgery, she was very ill, you know, that uh, she had to be intubated. And then other people said, no, it was just part of the surgery. You know, it wasn't anything, um, you know, untoward, anything sinister that she was putting it. And other people said she was putting in induced coma. And these have all been rumours that really have not been confirmed one way or another. So the palace, in its usual sort of, you know, just tell the public what we want the public to know way. Um, it's all been very quiet and Prince William wouldn't comment. And then um, he had to pull out of a memorial service. For personal reasons and of course Charlie boy he's got uh, the big C so he's undergoing treatment you know it feels like there's a lot going on behind the scenes in you know, which you wouldn't wish on anybody no you know as you know I'm not a lover of the royal family I don't believe in the royal family um, and this is just a typical example really so anyway this picture has been released for Mother's Day supposedly as well to sort of stop all this speculation we're going to look at a full version of it in a moment uh you know when you first look at it, it looks like a very staged picture of uh the family you know obviously all smile i mean they're not going to release a photo for mother's day of the mo you know the kids having a strop and the mo they're all miserable are they obviously they're going to release a picture of them all smiling and look at our happy family and I'm sorry, I don't know if it's me or not, but this one here, I don't even know what his name is. Is it George or is that George? Um, it just looks like he's going to be a Prince Andrew in later years. I don't, isn't that awful to think that? But he gives me a, a very strange vibe. Apparently, he's already going around school saying he's going to be king one day and this, that and the other. So, you know, it, I, I just don't believe in ruling families. I don't think it's fair to them uh, as children. And um, it's it's just horrible in my opinion. But anyway, that that's by the by. I know a lot of people, are real royalists, and you know everyone's. I respect your your views. You know, everybody's got their views on the royal family, I suppose. So, but the the question is now: this photo. Let's have a look at the. So major photo agencies have pulled out, uh, have pulled a new image of the Princess of Wales, have pulled it out of circulation over concerns it was manipulated by the source. So this image was circulated by a number of picture agencies on Sunday before finally Reuters, Associated Press, Getty Images and Agence France Press told media outlets to kill the photo from their systems and archives. So it's been removed. It's been removed. AP has told Sky News the photo shows an inconsistency in the alignment of Prince Charlotte's left hand. 
So this was released on the Prince and Princess of Wales Instagram. Uh, and, you know, yeah, when you first look at it, you just think, yeah, very staged, staged in the sense of all pretending they're having a great time. Um, uh, it's type photo, you know, which is typical sort of family picture, I suppose. But when you look more closely at it, there are, I think there are quite a few things that look strange. I think it could be that he's, uh, that this bit is genuine of this chat. I'm sorry, I don't know the names. I don't uh, follow, you know, I just don't know the children's names. Sorry if that's a terrible thing, but I really don't. He's got his arms around... Um, Kate's neck that looks like that part of it might be genuine but you know I'm not an expert on photos so I don't know but for me there's a few things that do look strange one Kate seems to have very long arms in this photo if she got her arms so naturally around the children like that uh you know you can see her hands here to me that would say that she's got very long arms then here, um, this, the, the younger boy, his, what's going on with his fingers there? That, that finger is right. Could you even put your fingers in that position? How could you put your finger in that position? I don't know. But anyway, so to me, his, that looks weird, his fingers. The way he's supposed to be hanging on to the, chair looks weird all the hands look weird don't they but hands can look weird so we could be looking for something that's not there i'm just telling you it's not only me saying it's what the people have said but the thing that people are most saying looks strange is oh her name is charlotte isn't it because that's what yeah princess charlotte her left hand has an inconsistency in alignment so I don't know. What do you think? Has it got? I don't think it looks uh, as weird as his hand, to be honest. I think his hand looks weirder. And also, in this gap here, wouldn't there be grass there in the gap between Princess Charlotte's cardigan here, the end of her cardigan? That's grass at the back. Wouldn't that be grass there? Wouldn't that be green grass? And the other thing to me is there are no reflections in the window. Wouldn't there be some reflections at least at the back of this boy's, his, the back of him, the reflection that's there? What is it? It looks like a, a bench of some kind. Um, I don't know if I can make the picture bigger. Hang on. I know it takes you to the Instagram. <coughs> Let's see that. Oh God, I've I've liked it. Didn't mean to like it. <laughs> anyway, on the comments, uh, oh God, Happy Mother's Day to the future Queen of our hearts. Oh my God, get me a bucket. Anyway, a lot of people are saying um, it's false. And then you get you get the other people who just think the royal family are fantastic. Yeah. There's a mixture of comments. Mixture of comments. But, of course, the comments got more... Um, what's the word? Uh, uh, word... Uh, got more sort of suspicious if you like of course as the news agencies pulled the photo now i don't know if i've ever ever um heard of that before can anyone remember that that um of a of a photo actually being pulled from news agencies. I mean, what is going on? I mean, it's like, look, it's time. It's time. It's time to call it a day on the royal family. It's not healthy anyway. People um, 
revering Kate as if she's some sort of saint, whatever's going on, or anyone. You know, this culture of... Oh, <clears throat> for me, it's just... It's not healthy, is it? It's not healthy. What What is going on? If Kate is ill, poorly, you know, that I wish her all the best because on a human level, I have nothing against Kate as a human being. I just don't believe in the monarchy. Um, but it's not a personal thing against her or against anybody else. Just, I just don't see the purpose of it, really. And this is confirming it. So it's like we're living in, you know, <clears throat> it's like going back years decades you know or living in some sort of country where you know like there's an emperor and the emperor is so revered that the people you know the plebs can't get to know about what's going on with the emperor emperor why not just say what is what if anything is wrong with kate what's all this Hiding it away. Let's have a look. We'll see what the Spanish news have got to say because they're always a bit more, a bit more open about what they say about the royal family. So, so I've woke up to this news really this morning. I did see a bit about it last night. Uh, Oh, and the other weird thing about it, if you like, <coughs> is the palace have refused to comment. Kensington Palace have refused to comment. So instead of just saying, no, you know, this is a genuine photo. How dare you say that? They've refused to comment. And that has made it look even more strange. Uh, I'm on the, oh, hang on, because I'm on a VPN for Australia. That's probably why I can't get any Spanish things up. Sorry, I've, I've not been awake long. I've only had one half a coffee so far. Yeah, well, I'm sure more will come out of this. So we, we I'm sure later there'll be more news of this. But what do you think? So basically, the reason I'm making this video first thing in the morning is to see what your opinion is i know there's some of you out there who are you know who do love the royal family the monarchy uh what do you think do you think there's nothing strange about this picture do you think it's gosh they've got 15.2 million followers gosh so they released the tweet we thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. C. Is that what that is? C. What's the C for? So the picture in question was released to celebrate Mother's Day and shows Kate surrounded by her and Prince William's three children. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. And Kensington Palace has declined to comment. I mean, it's absolutely bizarre after the photo was pulled by picture agencies. And AP, that was the French uh, agency, said the photo shows an inconsistency in the alignment of Princess Charlotte's hand. Yeah, I suppose this is something these photo agencies are up against at the moment with AI, etc. You know, making sure that photos are real before they uh, disperse them to the world. So they told Sky News in a statement, the Associated Press, uh, oh no, I don't think it's the French one, I don't know, initially published a photo which was issued by Kensington Palace. The AP later retracted the image because of closer inspection. That is probably what's happened is loads of people have made comments on it. The AP later retracted the image because of closer inspection it appears the source. The source, which is Kensington Palace, had manipulated the image in a way that did not meet AP's photo standards. And it shows an inconsistency in the alignment of Princess Charlotte's left hand. 
Reuters said it withdrew the picture following a post-publication review with the spokesman saying the agency is reviewing the matter. I can honestly say, I don't ever remember this happening before. You know, maybe it just wasn't, maybe it has happened before, but it just wasn't. So, you know, we talked about, because of course this is very, uh, you know, because everyone's been speculating about the Princess of Wales' health, um, Catherine's health. I can never say the Princess of Wales without thinking of Diana, I'm afraid. Anyway... So it, the AFP said, that's the French one, yeah, it said it had come to light that the image of the Princess of Wales and her kids had been altered and was therefore removed from its systems. And then a spokesperson for Getty Images told Sky News, earlier today our picture desk identified a problematic image provided to Getty Images by Kensington Palace. We can confirm the image in question was removed from our site in accordance with our editorial policy. <coughs> so a spokesperson for the Press Association news agency said it had not killed the picture on its service but was seeking urgent clarification from Kensington Palace about the concerns raised about manipulate, uh, manipulation. And then Laura Bundock, the royal correspondent of Sky News, uh, even she's confused about it. This is all really strange. We have some respected international news agencies deciding to kill this photo. In other words, they're pulling it from their distribution websites because they believe it has been changed, altered, photoshopped, Call it what you like. We don't know what manipulation of this photo means. Is it a filter? Are there tweaks? We just don't know. What we do know is Kensington Palace has declined to comment, which makes it all the more bizarre. So apparently the editing of photos after they've been taken for professional purposes is a common practice. And there is no suggestion Kensington Palace was trying to do anything other than improve the photo if it has been altered. However, without an official response from the palace, the confusion around the image is likely to fuel online conspiracy theories about Kate, which have swirled on the internet since her abdominal surgery. There has been speculation about Kate's health since she spent a brief period in hospital in January and she has not been seen in public since. <clears throat> so she's not been seen in public since Christmas Day. Details of the princess's condition have not been disclosed, but Kensington Palace previously said, previously said it was not cancer related and that Kate wished her personal medical information to remain private. Now, you know, that is fair enough. I understand that. But they could say it was women's... You know, there's a way that they could say it without saying specifically what it was. Uh, the other thing is they didn't care so much about Nicola Bully's uh, personal medical information coming to light, did it? I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Kate Middleton decided to be, join the royal family. And the, being in the royal family has got a lot of pluses, hasn't it? You know? Never have to worry about money. You're going to be queen one day. She wants to be queen. She wants all that side of things. But, you know, it carries it carries a burden as well. Of course it does that, you know, you're at the end of the day, you're, you're subjects. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to be queen with subjects, your subjects are going to want to know what's going on with you. You know, they're not, you can't just say, Oh, that's it. You know, uh, you you made a choice not to have a not to be a, a civilian, if you like, a normal pleb like the rest of us. You made that choice. So, you know, it's different for your children. Your children haven't got a choice. Your children have been born into the royal family. Uh, you weren't. You had a choice, didn't you? So. 
you know diana found that as well you you so it's almost like a deal with the devil isn't it you make the choice you join in into that family into that life and uh it must be a pain in the ass sometimes i'm sure it is but you know she wanted it she can walk away from it as well so yeah but i don't know i mean i don't believe in them releasing private medical information but it's caused more speculation i'm sure they could release something that would keep people quiet uh you know just they've just said abdominal surgery and that in itself just sounds weird doesn't it, it sounds like a tummy tuck or uh abdominal surgery you know i'm sure they could have phrased it better than that and they're supposed to be good at this sort of thing and oh, the other thing that I thought, God, just typical of that, as if we're not already got this weird reputation now all over the world when we used to have a good reputation. This is just adding fuel to the fire. You know, now we're bloody um, doctoring photos, you know, like bloody North Korea or somewhere. <laughs> you know, just crazy. Look at these people. Why do we... Uh, I'm sorry, I, maybe it's just me, I'm not, I've never been interested in celebrity culture and that. If people all just sort of stood there waiting to catch a little glimpse of the royal family, you know, just, just doesn't do it for me, that at all. But anyway, each to their own. So speaking about how reports of Mother's Day image was altered might add to further speculation. Royal commentator Peter Hunt says this is damaging for the royals. So they knew there would be intense interest in any picture they relate, released of Kate. I mean, it's true, at the end of the day, she hasn't been seen since Christmas Day. We're now in March. Um, so, you know, that's going to be... It was bound to, when that photo came out, it was bound to be a lot of speculation about it, wasn't there? Anyway, there you go. So they could have done it better, probably. Met, but I suppose they had to release some photo on Mother's Day. So their challenge is that people will now question whether they can be trusted and believe when they next issue a health update. Kensington Palace had provided the photo to agencies and said it had been taken by the Prince of Wales in Windsor earlier this week. So supposedly it was taken in Windsor earlier this week and in the message, it, uh, well, I read the message out. So Kate was admitted for planned abdominal surgery on the 16th of January, exactly a week after her 42nd birthday. The following day, the palace said the operation was successful. And Kate stayed in hospital until the 29th of January. So she was in hospital two weeks. That's what started the speculation. And then there was all this speculation that she'd actually been in a coma and things like that. But So 29th of January, she was discharged home to Windsor. And at the time, uh, Sky News understood her recuperation would likely take between two and three months. They did say it would be Easter before she reappeared. Here, on the 4th of March, the celebrity news site TMZ published a photo of her, which was understood to have been taken by unauthorised paparazzi near Windsor Castle. Let's have a look at that photo, is it there? Now, this was the photo that was released. You know, but she's all smiles. So it's very thin, but then I think they always try to be thin, don't they? Because, it, they, you know, it's like uh, they're, they're always being photographed and it, that part of being in the royal family, I mean, it must be awful because they do get a lot of criticism about the way they look. Uh, now this, so this photo was supposedly, oh no, that was Christmas Day. I was just going to say she looks like she's wearing what she was. 
Christmas Day. Oh, this was the one then. No, that was December. So where's the photo that they supposedly found? Of a... Ah. Oh, it's, she wore dark sunglasses and sat in the passenger seat of a black Audi, which was being driven by her mother, Carol. I don't think I've seen that photo. Oh, no, this is Sky News again. Let's go back to this one. Let's, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know if I've seen it. So she's obviously had some quite serious surgery. Hasn't she? You know, this is how it feels. Um, that it's all over the internet. That um, that photo, the, the Mother's Day photo, is all over the internet. Ah, there it is. This is allegedly. Okay. So this is the photo. Supposedly taken by unauthorised paparazzi. Of Kate with sunglasses on. Doesn't even look like Kate really, but um, presumably it is Kate. Doesn't look very happy, does she? So who knows? Uh, I, mean, I hope she's all right. I wouldn't like to think of anybody going through any... Um, Bad times, you know, like whatever they are, but uh, there you go. That's Kate, apparently. Is it Kate? Could be, really, to be honest, that could be anyone. So who knows? Who actually knows? Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, William had temporarily stepped away from his royal role to juggle caring for her and their children oh come on come on do you really think that william is juggling his role in caring for her and the children well he's doing it all himself is he he's caring for the children looking after kate doing the washing up mopping the floor doing the shopping oh my god really Come on, we know, you know, with the best will in the world, we know that he is not doing all that. That there'll be a nanny, there'll be nurses, there'll be cleaners. He isn't, they make it sound like he's, you know, got a penny on and he's, uh, you know, trying to do everything himself. He's juggling everything, yeah, he's juggling, caring for her and the children. Of course he is. No, there's something going on. There's, of course there's something going on. Um, who knows? Maybe she has had to have a hysterectomy. She probably wouldn't want everybody to know that. I, You know, I just don't know. But I do feel sometimes when you try and cover things up, like it's happening at the moment, uh, oh, well done, William, juggling all, looking after the children, looking after your wife, doing the housework, doing the shopping. Um, you know, he's juggling everything, bless him, with no help whatsoever. Um, you know, it's awful, and I hope she gets whatever's wrong with her. I hope she gets better soon. And but yeah, very strange. So, yeah, this was the last picture of her taken before her operation, or that were official picture. Whether that picture of her in the car. Uh, with the sunglasses was her or not, I don't know. This is what's causing all the controversy, the inconsistency in the alignment of Princess Charlotte's hand. Though I personally think his hand looks weird down here. This side, all the hands look weird, I suppose. The only thing that perhaps looks quite, you know, it looks like he actually has got his arms around uh, his mum. 
uh, and of course it looks weird that they're all smiling. <laughs> you know what it's like if you've got kids, it's not easy to get them all um, lined up and smiling. I suppose these kids at the end of the day, they'll be used to having their photo taken, won't they? And then to me, yeah, where's the green grass here in this bit here where Charlotte's cardigan finishes? There's a little gap there that should have green in it in my opinion, because it's right there on the grass. Uh, the other thing that's weird is where are the reflections in the windows? Uh, and Kate's arms just, uh, you know, looks like she's got really long arms to be like that, holding them like that. And look at how long her fingers are. Are her fingers that long? Are they her hands? Well, you never know. We might get to find out. So I just thought I'd... Um, I just thought we'd have a look at that. And uh, I will uh, see you later, I'm sure, in another video. Have a great Monday and uh, remember to live and love wisely and carefully. And until I see you again, may your God go with you. Thank you so much. Bye.